In her documentary, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me, Gomez opened up about her very public relationship with Justin Bieber, despite not ever mentioning him by name. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how Selena Gomez reveals why she forgives Justin Bieber. I felt haunted by a past relationship that no one wanted to let go of, Gomez said, but then I just moved past it. I wasn't afraid anymore. She went on to add, I feel like I had to go through the worst possible heartbreak ever. I just think that needed to happen and ultimately, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Just weeks after Haley spoke out about rumors that she stole Bieber from Gomez, Haley and Gomez posed for photos together at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures' second annual gala. In one photo, Gomez and Haley stand and smile together, and in another, the two pose at a table with Gomez's hand on Haley's leg. During an appearance on Alex Cooper's Call Her Daddy podcast, Haley addressed the claim that she stole Bieber from Gomez. I can say, period, point blank, I was never with him when he was in a relationship with anybody. That's the end of it, the model said. The next day, Gomez shared a message on TikTok that seemingly responded to Haley's interview. In the clip, she spoke about spreading positivity and the irony behind haters supporting her brand, Rare Beauty. If you support Rare, I cannot thank you enough, but know that you're also representing what it means and that its words matter, truly matter. The actress said, adding that she was all about kind words. In an interview with NPR's Lulu Garcia Navarro, Gomez opened up about her breakup with Justin and how she's moved forward. I found the strength in it, it's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality, and I'm not being disrespectful, I do feel like I was a victim to certain abuse, she said, confirming it was emotional abuse when asked by the interviewer. Later in that interview, she added, Lose You to Love Me was a way to help her get closure. It's not a hateful song, it's a song that's saying, I had something beautiful and I would never deny that it wasn't that. It was very difficult and I'm happy it's over, she explained. And I feel like this was a great way to just say, you know, it's done. And I understand that and I respect that. And now here I am stepping into a whole other chapter. While Bieber has navigated the first few years of marriage, he and Gomez have largely kept quiet about each other in the recent years. In May 2022, Gomez spoke about her own love life while hosting Saturday Night Live. Gomez joked about looking for love with anyone during her opening monologue on the show. One reason I've been very happy to host is that I'm single, she said, continuing, and I've heard that SNL is a great place to find romance. Let's take a moment and step back in time to when Selena and Justin got back together. Justin managed to swoon his way back into the arms of Selena Gomez after a tempestuous few weeks of breaking up and getting back together. The 20-year-old former Disney star had been on a string of dates with her pop star boyfriend just in time for Christmas, getting their relationship back on track after a lot of groveling on Bieber's part. And he was finally let off the hook if reports were to be believed. Justin and Selena split earlier that month after he invited underwear model Barbara Palvin to his dressing room at the New York Victoria's Secret show where he performed. After a lot of begging, Justin's eventually been forgiven and has to admit that he's messed up. The son quoted his source as saying, It's early days, but she took him back and told him to clean up his act. The source added, So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.